Detective Mike Galden met Jennifer at the hospital. The first comment I remember her making was that, I'm going to get this guy that did this to me. She said, I took mm -hmm. the time to look at him. I will be able to identify him if I'm given an opportunity. Detective Galden worked with Jennifer to make a composite sketch, pouring over eyes, noses, ears, lips, trying to recreate the face she had seen that night. The sketch went out, and tips started coming in. One of those tips was about a young man named Ronald Cotton, who worked at a restaurant near the scene of both rapes and had a record, a guilty plea to breaking and entering, and as a teenager, to sexual assault. Three days after the rape, Mike Alden called Jennifer in to do a photo lineup. He lay these six pictures down on the table, said the perpetrator may or may not be one of them, and told her to take her time. Does she say immediately, that's him? No. she studied each photograph. I can remember almost feeling like I was at an SAT test. You know, yeah. we start narrowing down your choices. You can discount A and B and... Oh, like multiple choice. Exactly. According to the police report, Jennifer studied the pictures for five minutes. She picked up Ron's photograph and said, that's the man who raped me. And you must have said, are you sure? And she said yes? Yeah. Oh, yes, certainly. Ronald Cotton heard the news from his mother's boyfriend. He told me, he said, Ron, he said, Police are looking for you. And I said, for what? And he told me, for rape. I said, man, I didn't commit such a crime like that. Did you panic? I didn't panic. I was trying to figure out, you know, why. He comes in and gives me a very detailed uh, account of where he was, who he was with that night. As it turns out, uh, that was a false alibi. I realized later that I had got my weekends confused, and so therefore, I gave them the reason to think that I was lying. This was August 1st, 1984. Right. You go in to clear yourself. When did you actually leave? I didn't. He was locked up and days later put in a physical lineup. I'm number five. You scared? I was very scared, nervous. I was so nervous. I was trembling. You know, I felt my body just shaking. They were asked to step forward, speak, and step back. I can remember looking to the detective and saying, it's between four and five, can I have them do it again? And then she knew it was number five, Ronald Cotton. Did you feel absolutely certain? Absolutely certain. Did anybody say to you, good job? Well, what was said to me afterwards was, that's the same person you picked out in the photo lineup. So in my mind, I thought, bingo, I did it right. I did it right. 